Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing absolute value functions and graph each equation. So, if I was given this equation, y equals negative absolute value of x minus 1 minus 1, all right? Well, what I want to do here is find my vertex, okay? Vertex here, well, neg, there's a or an x minus a 1 right here, but the positive one is our h value, so the positive one. But here, remember the k value, it's plus a k, so the negative one, so the negative one right there. So our vertex is just one, negative one, right? So you have one, negative one, right there, okay? So let's write that, write that down, one, negative one, as a vertex. All right, a value, negative one, also. A lot of ones and negative ones out here, right? Negative. Well, the negative tells us our shape is upside down. All right, or if the roof line, okay? Negative one is the slope. So from that point, from that vertex, we go down one to the right one, right? Down one to the right one. And then we mirror that to the left, down one to the left one, down one to the left one. We connect the dots, okay? Connect the dots right here. To make our V shape. And there we have our graph and our final answer. Quick recap, we're given y equals a uh, negative absolute value of x minus 1, and then all subtracted by 1. That vertex, or that yields us a vertex of 1 comma negative 1, okay? So we put that vertex right there. Then we um, see a negative 1 on the outside, so that is our slope. It tells us it's a V shape, all right? That's upside down, upside down V, sorry, upside down V. All right, that's the negative part, and then the negative 1 is the slope, down 1 to the right one, down 1 to the right one. Mirror that to the left, all right? Flip over here, down to the left one, down one to the left one. Connect the dots. There we get our final answer and our graph. 